uh, welcome from Phnom Penh in Cambodia. Uh, this week we had the chance to present the Qlana platform to the participants of the Global SME Finance Forum in one of the pitches. We titled it the uh, Digitization with a Strategy to explain our perspective on how financial institutions specifically focused around SME and corporates should proceed with digitizing. We started with uh, the explanation about a brief history of SME finance, in which we showed that we have a traditional approach to financial institutions doing SME and corporate lending, which we compared with a uh, functioning but a little bit older bicycle. And we looked at the um, fintech startups as the new form of SME lending, which we compared to a fancy electrical bus that can carry a lot of people in an environmental friendly way across uh, a long distance. So, this is the uh, comparison that the traditional financial institutions have a successful business model with a strong customer relationship, knowledge and experience. But of course, driven by the uh, inefficiencies, regulations and the strong presence of fintechs, many of the traditional financial institutions started to digitize. We saw it very often that this was a digitization without a clear strategy, meaning that the traditional financial institution did have a lot of unanswered questions before they embarked on their journey. They didn't really know what made the institution strong or what the clients expected from them. Many of them expected digital services, but they also expected a traditional relationship-driven interaction. Um, they really knew that their operations were inefficient, but not necessarily where and how much. And they need, need to understand where the operations really needed to be improved. All of them, or most of them, had a functioning and profitable business. So there was no reason necessarily to give it up, but rather use this traditional business to generate revenues to finance a digitization approach. And usually they didn't know how much time they had. But when they embarked on a digitization strategy, they were often faced with some challenges. They had these new fancy tools like this electric bus. They didn't actually know where to drive with this bus or what to expect once they arrived. Maybe their clients weren't even there because the clients were at the distance where the bicycle could reach them. They didn't know whether they had enough money to pay for the maintenance or had enough drivers who knew how to drive this vehicle. And they also didn't know when they arrived what to really offer to the clients when they were there. So therefore, it all resembled a little bit a digitization without a strategy. What we rather see as a necessity for a corporate and SME bank is to have a business plan that incorporates digitization. And here we see that a strategy could, for example, circle around two key components. One of the components is the customer centricity, meaning offering products and services that the client really needs, solving clients' problems as opposed to uh, selling loan products. Here this means a lot of adjustments, a lot of flexibility, a lot of better understanding of the client's needs, but also the risk mitigating and the risk sharing, because due to the knowledge that these institutions have about their customers, there's no better place to assess the risk, no better price, uh, place to manage or price the risk which will potentially help in a methodology to share the risks as a way to uh, improve the efficiency or improve the rentability of an institution. If that is a strategy, so combined around customer centricity and risk management, then a couple of concepts are necessary to be implemented. One of these concepts is, for example, to have a clear data and process structure. This builds around a tool that allows to collect information on an ongoing basis, uh, systemize every transaction on a, on a standardized workflow, and making sure that this information is really available where it's needed. The second one is the concept of a risk appetite. You should not have to calculate whether you would like to make a loan every time a client requests a facility. You should know beforehand, based on the risk appetite, what is the risk exposure you are willing to accept for a specific category of clients. At the same time, we think that relationship pricing is another core concept. You should always know how much you earn on the overall client relationship. This uh, considers, for example, a company, its employees, the family members of the, uh, of the owner, and so on. If you have that clarity, you will be in the position to flexibly price or competitively price if a client wants a loan but has an offer from another institution at a more aggressive rate. The other concepts that we think are necessary are to think about clearly what the physical footprint 
of the institution should be. And by no means are we against the presence of uh, physical branches, but we need to understand what these physical branches can be used for. For the loan officers, for the relationship managers, but maybe even also for clients to present their products. And of course, as every institution these days, you need to have an agile operation. So, with this strategy and with this concept in place, the next thing that you have to look at are a couple of tools that make it work, that make your strategy really fly. The first tool is of course a platform for workflow and analytics, similar to what Kulana offers, to allow you to really have the backbone of your organization, the backbone of the data generation, the backbone of the analysis available. You also need to have a very nimble product development process that allows you to quickly develop, test and roll out new products. That should happen in a question of weeks and not necessarily months or years as it was in the past. You need implementation partners because you don't have all the knowledge inside the institution and you don't want to maintain all the knowledge inside the institution that's far too expensive and far too specialized. And potentially you should have uh, risk sharing partners who help you with uh, taking over risks that you're generating in your lending business. So with these three components, strategy, concepts and tools, we come to Kulana as one of the solutions that could help you in your digitization path. We see Kulana as the best platform provider, but also as a key advisor to your digitization and to your implementation of the business strategy. We think that with Kulana you will be able to have a better and more impactful financial service offering because you are working on the concept of knowledge-based lending while at the same time maintaining the human aspects of digitization, meaning you're building around your existing stuff or your qualified stuff, your digitization uh, activities, as opposed to building a digitization that builds on replacing stuff. Now, how does Kulana look like? Kulana has a couple of databases that allow you to uh, collect data in a structured manner. We have the database for contacts, companies, facilities, projects and collateral, which we combine to workflows. So these workflows then are the ones that are like, get through the overall process to get assessed, analyzed, approved, dispersed, monitored, collected or if necessary going through special collection. With this structure in place, with the workflows in place, you can create your input forms, you can create your assessment forms, your questionnaires, the calculated forms such as the valuation or the rating, you have your reports, your summaries, and in the end you have your dashboards so that the information can be visible anytime you want to. Around Kulana, we have built a number of components that can be added at any time. These components, for example, include the collateral management, the predisbursement, uh, the financial analysis, where we make sure that you collect the right financial data about the companies to make them comparable over time, the hedging and the funding if necessary, monitoring, the external login through an outside app or the integration with other uh, tools that are available, reporting, valuation, and in the end, the document and knowledge management. All that we combine with a very flexible workflow engine where you can technically run an unlimited amount of different workflows for your products. So depending on whether a product has an automated approval, has a head office approval, a board level approval, we can replicate that in our workflows. This makes the platform extremely flexible and also allows us to implement over time. Because we see overall the digitization path as a journey. A journey which starts first with a digitization of existing operations. We always look at the fact that we would like to make uh, the first steps in digitization as little intrusive as possible to accommodate, for example, also the mentality of your staff to adopt to the digitization. So we digitize the existing operations. With that knowledge of uh, the digitization of the first parts, we derive learnings from the insights. And from that part, we start building, modifying, improving, and develop and advance the versions. That also means that digitization for us is a multi-year process. I give you the example on the slide here with regards to one of our core clients. Here we work with them since about five years and develop step by step, one part after the other, one step after the other, to ensure that the digitization covers every aspect of the lending process and the institution is not overrun with too many changes at the same time, can adjust to the new environment of working digitally. For example, in this institution, we really just started with the process of acquisition and approval and over time went on to further look at, in the end, at rating and scoring and potentially the tools that we offer to clients to provide better data. 
At the same time, we also use a consultative approach and provide some advisory on the site based on the needs of an institution. This could include, for example, the implementation of evaluation methodology following IFRS 9 rules. We have developed an ICAP report using the data that comes out of Kulana. We have developed a lending process for an impact investor. We did stress testing, developed rating and scoring engines, rating and scoring methodologies, and we advised the staff around risk management. All this together allows us to offer an integrated package to you as a customer, as a bank, to help you implementing the digitization as part of your overall business strategy. Ultimately, what we are offering are a couple of versions of Kulana. We have Kulana for financial institutions. There is a core product that can be expanded and developed over time. It serves financial institutions, both corporate, retail, SME, or for example, microfinance institutions. We have flexible user interfaces that allow to integrate or to adapt to the specific needs of the institution. We have a version for investment funds, and the difference between the two is that the version for investment funds targets private debt funds who usually don't have an accounting system, so the Kulana system also offers a small accounting functionality to provide loan-level accounting. We developed the Kulana for the SME lending platform, which is a product that we work on for next year, in which we will launch funds that will allow us to uh, engage in direct lending or in risk sharing with our clients. And we offer the Kulana, uh, the Qcode platform, because Kulana is developed on a low-code uh, platform developed by our partner Threshold called Zero Code. Here we have the extreme flexibility to develop, adjust almost everything with a drag-and-drop methodology, so we can also develop applications for clients. That brings me to our strengths. One of our strengths, for example, is the technology. Here we use the Kulana platform based on um, a low-code technology that has been developed by our partners. We have a strong team. We select our partners, we select our team members based on their qualification, based on the fit in the overall company. We emphasize a lot of training and make sure that our staff is super engaged when working with clients. We have a lot of experience and knowledge. Our team worked with over a hundred banks in the past in advising them on risk management, SME lending and other components that are related to that. And we think we have a pretty good reputation because our clients speak very well about us and our clients can uh, give us the necessary referrals to convince you to work with us. If you're interested in uh, hearing more about Kulana, interesting about here, see where Kulana can help you, how we can work with you, please uh, feel free to contact us. You see the contacts here on the, um, on the last slide as well as uh, below on the, um, in the, the details of the video. And um, I thank you very much. This was the presentation that I gave this week uh, for the uh, Global SME Finance Forum here in Cambodia. And um, I look forward to hear from you.